practicalities of fabric architecture. Acoustics. The introduction of fabric will offer qualitative acoustic improvements into any space that has lots of hard reflective surfaces. But acoustic meshes are now available that have been specifically engineered to absorb sound waves and reduce acoustic reverberation. These fabrics can be used in suspended structures such as kites or rafts, as tension screens or as wall and ceiling linings. And if drastic acoustic improvements are required, additional acoustic quilting can be added behind the fabric. Insulation Fabric structures are not known for inherent insulation. A single layer of any of the technical fabrics we use will cover unheated spaces effectively but offer no further insulating properties. However, by using multi-layer membrane systems, it is possible to improve thermal performance and even meet Part L building requirements. Multi-layer systems generally comprise of a thermal multifoil layer sandwiched between inner and outer tensile membranes. This gives the required U-value but has the drawback of rendering the membrane entirely opaque. More recently, products such as Nanogel have been introduced into the market which allow some light transmission to be retained but can be prohibitively expensive. Alternatively, good levels of insulation can also be achieved by creating an air-inflated cushion where additional layers of membrane trap pockets of air which can result in U-values as good as 1.18. Printing Tensile fabrics offer clients the ability to print on their structure, which is something that traditional building methods do not. Printing within the tensile fabric industry is um, a relatively easy way to bring some personal identity or brand into the structure itself. Being a fabric structure, printing is relatively easy when compared with solid or conventional buildings. It gives the artist and the architect free reign over how their structure will look um, and equally as it is fabric, it can also be changed at a later date. When looking at printing on fabrics, consider the colour and size of the image, how it is being lit, is the print being used internally or externally, do you need to see through the print, will the print be used for multiple events and is there a specific fire rating requirement. Lighting. Lighting is a little bit different um, to printing. It gives you an organic and dynamic uh, installation. It lets you change at will the look and the feel of the building to suit the situation, uh, the time of day, the time of year. A good example of this would be for the O2 dome, where for one night only, Prince was playing his favorite color being purple. At an instant, we can change the entire structure to be purple. Environmental. As most of the fabrics and components we use can now be reused or recycled, the environmental impact of a fabric structure is far smaller than some less efficient traditional building techniques. PVC, silicon and PTFE can all be recycled and made into second generation products. Tensile fabric structures also lend themselves to relocation. For example, when the inverted conic structures installed at the Millennium Dome were no longer required by the client, instead of dismantling the structures, we relocated them to Piarco Airport in Trinidad. 